Hello! I thought I would shoot a video on how I mix my nutrients. There's my tank. It's a 200 liter tank. It's, it has about 50, 60 liters in it right now. And um, I started shooting the video, uh, but I forgot a measurement cup. So I have already put in some of this. This is copper sulfate, which I use to control the algae. Maybe not. Maybe it doesn't matter here, but yeah. So let's start with the pH test. I have an analog one with a reactant. Oops. You're supposed to have five milliliters of liquid in this one. That's about five. Four drops of the reactant. Shaky, 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 shaky. You can see that changing color, right? Yeah, good. Let me bring out the scales. Let me see. Which one? No, it's darker. It's darker. Ah, it's darker. Ah, that's pretty much. That's too dark. So I'd say 8.5. So that's clean, good, ready for the next time. This is my EC meter. And I can press hold here to keep its value so I can show you on the camera. Because I don't think you see the display down here, do you? It's 1.3. So we have our starting parameters. I don't do this every time because I know the the pH and the um, the EC of the the tap water here is it's always relatively the same. So that's clean. Give it a little shake. It's never bad. So let's see here. We want 40 milliliters. 10 liters. So that's 0.4 deciliters. So if we add 4 deciliters, that would be 100. So 2 deciliters would be good for 50 liters. So let's put in. That's about, if you can see the scale there. Centiliters, it's about 20. Now it's 20. So let's check the EC after the first batch has gone in. Let's mix that a little bit too. Not sufficiently mixed. You see, it's on one. Let's take the next one, give it a shake. Feel a little bit. That's 
better. And it's a little bit underfilled now. So that's better. It doesn't really matter if you have the precisely the same amount of the A and B. Not when you're mixing this much. Is that a mix? That landed us on 1.4, you can see that. So when you say the value, you, you subtract the first value you had, the starting. So this is EC 1.1. And that's a little bit too little. So let's add another deciliter of each of these. And I've noticed when mixing nutrients, it, it could be tempting to just pour another deciliter of the other solution in here, but then they would react with each other. I'm not really sure about that chemistry, but I've seen it happen. And that leaves your... It becomes a little bit milky when it reacts. And uh, that leaves them locked out for your plants to use so that's not good so another deciliter in mixy mixy that's mixed enough Let's see. And that's two. So what did I say? 1.7 then. I was a little bit more. Let's add half a deciliter. Could they have different colors so you remember which one you added? <laughs> it would suck if you didn't know that. So, once again, mixy mixy mixy. I'm happy with that. It's 2.2, so 1.9. That's good. I'm gonna feed my plants a little bit more than usual this time because they've been without nutrients for a little bit. Now let's see how this stuff changes. Magnesium and how much you should add, it's very strange, I don't really have that much directions to say about this, but let's add two tablespoons. that dissolve it. That's a little bit undissolved down here.
I can see a little undersolved down there in the center. Let's see if we can make you see it too. It's not going to focus there, right? Hmm. So let's see how that changed the electrical conductivity. It's 2.4. I think we can add all of it. Two point six. Let's water with this. I think this is good. Let's check out the pH again. Let's see how that changed. I suspect we're gonna end up about six. That's four, right? Didn't really see because I was looking at the camera. Let's hope that's four and not five. I almost feel like we're doing this because this looks fun. Let's see, it's definitely not 6.5. Maybe six, uh, more like 5.5. .5. What do you think? It's definitely not five. Let's read it. I bet that fucked that up. That's about five. One, two, three, four. Yeah, that's the same color. I did it. Good. So yeah, that's it. Um, now I can water with this. And you can see the bottom there. There's no dissolved magnesium. Undissolved magnesium anymore. I don't see any. So yeah, great. It's nice that you watched my video. If you did. So that's how I do it.